Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. Tonight, the suburban streets where crooks have converted family homes into very lucrative drug labs. Reporter Laura Francis joins us live with the details. Laura? That's right, Tracy. Well, imagine waking up to the sound of police raiding the house next door. You take a peek out of the window and you see sniffer dogs. You see the drug squad carrying out cannabis plants or dangerous chemicals. Now, I realise this sounds like a scene from a TV show or some kind of movie, but the reality is it's happening to thousands of Australians right around the country. Could even happen in your street. In fact, a staggering 70% of these drug dens are operating in suburban streets just like this one. And as our investigation shows, some real estate agents have a lot to answer for too. Unbelievable. All the neighbours here can't believe that this has happened. You've got false walls. Usually you've got a lot of holes, a yeah, few holes there, where they run their watering systems through. It's suburbia turned disturbia. From the outside, average family homes. Swing sets and kids' toys disguise the reality that this is an adult playground. At the front, it looks all good. No, no signs of damage at all. But behind closed doors... Hey. Yep. Wow. It's, uh, it's definitely a full-blown hydro. Secret, sophisticated setups. Grow houses. Most of the room has been reworked. You've got an extremely good ventilation system here. Meth labs. We are under arrest. Drug lords creating kingdoms, living by their rules, leaving honest Aussies to foot the bill. You're probably looking at at least $30,000, $35,000 in damage. And you could be living right next door to a toxic time bomb. There's the issue of flammability and those labs can be very volatile and explode. And not have a clue. My house was turned into a drug den. Meet Peter Gearan from BioClean. It's his job to fix up houses after the police have tracked down and busted the criminals. And this house in Melbourne's western suburbs is one of the most elaborate setups he's seen. And all these little hooks here would have had um, lights on them. But the special grow lights that, that they grow under the uh, hydroponic setups. And all the windows. Yeah, windows are dark. blacked out. Yeah. They've usually got silver tape on them or something. But it's uh, yeah, it's it's fairly common unfortunately, but uh, that's the illicit drug trade, isn't it? It's the, the knock-on effect with the damage and the costs and everything like that. An estimated $1 million operation, four rooms full of cannabis plants, changed locks to keep it all hidden away, secret escape passages in case of a raid, a homemade irrigation system. Yeah, look, you can see with all the hoses here that um, <coughs> this is the main part of their irrigation. All these hoses go to feed all the plants in various rooms. The fact that mould and mouldy cannabis, which is uh, carcinogenic, is not good. And sneaky wiring to avoid power bills. They certainly have done a lot of their own renovation, for want of a better word. What's going on here? Laura, this is very typical of a hydro setup. You've got the mains power coming in from the bottom, which has been cut. Normally it travels straight through to the meter, but at this cut point they bypass the power, run their own electrical switching, etc., uh, to power the amount of energy that's required for the lighting. My family is devastated. The house belongs to Manish. He used to live here with his wife and children, but six months ago he decided to rent it out to tenants to help support his family. He approached a local real estate agency who said they'd found a couple to move in, a Mr and Mrs Newen. Manish has now been told by police these names are fake. It was really very uh, sad to see the house in this shape and our heart was really broken. Instead, his tenants were drug barons who've left him with a $40,000 damage bill. No, I'm nowhere. No one is uh, ready to help me out for this. Manisha's real estate agency claim they did all the relevant background checks as well as an inspection. But a few simple checks from us, and we discovered not only were their names made up, on their tenancy application the fake tenants put down a fabricated current address. So on their rental application they've said they live at number six, which is right next door to you. Mm. Have you heard of them? No, I've never heard of them. Um, we've lived here for ten years and certainly no one of that name's ever lived upstairs. 
It seems Manish was also the victim of a slack real estate agency, the very people he was paying to look after his property. And the news gets worse for Manish. His insurance company have said he didn't have the right level policy to cover this kind of damage, which means he could lose the lot. My insurance company is saying they won't pay for the damage. And we're in a relatively quiet suburb. It's yep. you know, family land. Is that the kind of profile of these houses? It is. It's, um, it's usually in a court somewhere that's obscure, whether there's trees in the front or just limits their exposure. It was a very, very quiet house. Trevor lives next door to the drug den. He says as the months went by, he started picking up odd behaviour from his new neighbours. But just a bit before Christmas, before the blinds never got lifted and then after Christmas the bin, garbage bins weren't going in. And while there were kids' toys lying around, perhaps as part of the decoy, he never saw any children. Never saw a young family at all. Um, they are common in, uh, in regional and uh, metropolitan areas. Detective Senior Constable Joshua Renfrey from the Victorian Drug Squad says grow houses are springing up all around the country. Uh, they do come up quite regularly. Uh, we do attend these on an almost weekly basis. He says it's vital neighbours report any suspicious behaviour. There's a, there's a number of things that you can keep an eye out for. Uh, predominantly things like uh, shuttered windows, which are permanently down, is a big giveaway. Uh, blinds and curtains, which are always drawn. Um, the occupants rarely being there or only show, uh, staying for short periods of time. Um, and also sometimes uh, people living near these houses will experience power outages as a result of, of uh, the, the houses essentially stealing electricity. Police say anyone caught growing cannabis will be cut down. People cultivating cannabis uh, hydroponically in these sort of quantities can expect to receive lengthy jail terms. One person has already been arrested over that drug house. Police say if you're suspicious about homes in your area, you should contact your local police station or call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.